Hello, everyone. How's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Age of Wonders Planetfall, shall we? I'm going to be playing this game on the PlayStation 5. I believe it's a PlayStation 4 game, and not really optimized for the PS5. But this is the Deluxe Edition. I don't even know what that means. I've never played an Age of Wonders game of any kind. I've never played Planetfall. I really don't know what I'm getting into. I do like Paradox games. I thought I wanted to check this out and just see what it's all about. So I'm going to start with the tutorial because I don't know how to play. Commander's personal record. Vanguard LCVP-86 emerged from void space intact. Our destination is a small planet located near to the anomaly in this system. Okay. Scans are showing nothing but static from the research outpost below. The distress call we received remains the only sign of life. All right, fine. The void anomaly looms over the planet like a dark omen. These scientists must have been mad to study the phenomenon from this close. But it's not for me to question their motives. Question them. We're here to secure a foothold, search for any survivors, and investigate what happened. Prepare for planet fall. All right, let's prepare. So we're doing a planet scan. This is Dolos Minerva. It's a tiny world, Pangea world mass, land mass. Uh, it's... Wow, 99% land, 1% water. Think about that. And we need to search for survivors and find out what happened. Okay, interesting. Very cool looking game. Welcome, Commander. I am Ava. Your autonomous integrated virtual assistant. All right. Standard issue for every planetary governor of the Star Union. My messages will appear when important actions are undertaken for the first time. They can be reviewed at any time in the Imperial Archives. Great. Uh, the diamond icon in color will assist in early decisions by recommending certain choices to direct the development of your starting empire. Okay. You could pan the camera using the left stick and zoom in and out using the right stick. Selecting is done with X and deselecting is done with circle. Triangle brings up a radial menu which allows access to in-game menus. Fine. Planetfall successful, Commander. Powering up base colony systems. Good, there is no time to waste. We'll start by setting up and expanding this colony. Start a surface scan for survivors and existing colony infrastructure. Inform me when our research systems are online. Yes, Commander. Recalibrating sensors and initiating surface scan. A biodome has been located nearby, but there are no signs of survivors. Continuing scanning the planet's surface, says Jack Gelder. If there is any survivors on this world, I want to know about it. I got a really nice coat with a popped collar and immaculately combed hair. I'll scout the adjacent sectors and investigate the biodome. It should contain supplies that will help us expand our colony. Searching for survivors. This is about exploration. Select your army and explore the nearby sector. Locate and investigate the overgrown biodome. Hint, you can see your progress in your currently active quests in the objectives interface. Okay. So we need to explore and take control of that overgrown biodome. What happened to this biodome? Don't tell me. All right, I accept it. So looking at this game immediately, I was like, I'm not really sure what kind of a game this is. It looks like a 4X. It looks like a sci-fi civilization. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure there is some more to it than that. Of course, more wrinkles and everything. But here we go. I'm zooming in. I'm zooming out. And they want me to select my army. So I'll do that. So I'm going to go over here and just be like, army. Oh, orders required. Or I can push the R2. Notifier shows actions available during the current turn, as well as urgent matters that require attention. Okay, the task notifier, notifier is uh, under the minimap. Uh, below the event list. Or above the minimap under the event list and selecting a message from the task notifier will either center the camera on the location or open the relevant interface okay so i figured they're just telling me like hey this this troop needs this orders is an army. armies contain up to six units on a single hex okay and are used to explore the world attack enemy armies and defend colonies all right 
Selecting a unit's portrait in the Army Panel will display its abilities by pressing the Up button. The Army Panel can be accessed where individual units in the Army can be selected. Pressing the Square button will open the Unit Panel of the currently selected unit. To move an Army, select it, and then move the cursor to the hex you want it to go to. A preview of the route is shown, with a blue path to indicate how far the Army can move this turn. Each hex has a move point cost, and each unit has a set number of move points per turn. Units can be selected using X, pressing X over a hex will move the selected army toward that hex. Okay. So I was thinking that this was my army over here, like starting outside the town, like in Civ, where you have your, you know, your explorer or whatever, but that looks actually like a bad guy. And it has the uh, quest icon near it. So... My army, very interesting, it's got a stack. Like, I have several troops of different types within my army, and it gives you some kind of aggregate army power. So I'm going to select my army, and... This is the colony interface. Okay, we're the colony. to inspect and control your settlements on this planet. The tabs at the top left cycle through the production and colonist options. Okay. Under this colony's name... You can see the amount of each resource this colony generates. I'd see that. A description and a breakdown of the colony's income can be found in the tooltips of each resource. Okay. Uh, tooltips can be seen in info mode by pressing the big button on the controller using the left stick. The currently selected colony tab is unit production. All units available for construction are listed here. More units are unlocked through research and by building their prerequisite structure. Units cost both production and energy to build, and higher tier units also cost Cosmite. Okay, I can see energy as the lightning bolt. I can see Cosmite. Uh, which unit represents production? Is that just time? We'll find that out. Um, I don't, don't really want to produce anything. I was trying to select the army, but I think that uh, they might already be selected here. Let me go here. Um... And that's the station. I'm going to go to the... Yeah, okay. Now I've got the troops selected. And I'm going to just say, go over here. They can't make it that far. Colony production facilities are idle. I recommend to start building the central replicator facility to increase production. I've highlighted the structure in the colony interface. Okay. This is the structure production tab. Colony structures can be built from here to unlock new units, strengthen the economy, and bolster the colony's defenses. Okay, so they want me, us to build this right here. Let me check it out. What does this thing do? It says a miniature factory that increases production. Okay, so production is always so production is a gear, but I don't see it on the top of the HUD as a resource. But I do see it when I check the colony. Um, Ubion is producing eighty-five production already. And it gives 15 production once we finish the central replicator facility. It costs 100 production. I'm getting 85 per turn, so it takes two turns to build this. Okay. Units and structures can be built in a colony by selecting the Produce option, which places them in the production queue. That's in the queue. The order of the queue uh, can be changed using the L stick and pressing the square button. Okay. So we're making this, and they want us to generate... Oh, no, there's other things we can do, like we can generate knowledge. We can just focus on energy or knowledge or whatever, but no, 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 we're good. Let me see the what else we've got here. Tab lists the structures that can be built in any of the province sectors of the colony. So I'm on the sector production tab, and this is like, hey, this is what you can build. And looks like all I'm building right now is the factory. The Colonist tab lists details of the colony's growth and happiness. The colony's output can be fine-tuned by assigning colonists to resource slots. Okay, so this is very much like civilization, uh, like putting your population on certain buildings or tasks. Okay. City decrees. I don't think we need any city decrees at the moment. And you can see we're producing this right now. I could buy it instantly for 200 energy, which I don't have, and I don't want to do anyway. I'm just going to push circle to close this. And it says, establish a colony empire building. Open the colony interface and complete the central replicator facility production project found in the structure production tab. 
Hint, the colony interface can be opened by selecting the colony. If there's an army standing on top of it, you first, your first press will select the army and the second one will get the colony. Okay. When all suggested actions from the task notifier above the minimap have been handled, the option will automatically change to end turn. Okay. Since you've moved your units and started production, no more units can be undertaken, so that's all that's left. Indeed. So we'll go ahead and end turn. And I'll hold it down to do it. Turn two since planet fall. Commander, our laboratories have come online and research is now available. We can begin researching technologies to unlock new deployments to help us on this planet. Excellent. What do you suggest we start with, considering our mission parameters? For military research, it's recommended to start with nanite support to provide our troops with extra protection and unlock battlefield support operations. For society research, it's recommended to start with frontier facilities to unlock basic infrastructure upgrades for our colony. I have highlighted these skills in the research interface for your convenience. Welcome to the research center, Commander. I see it. Here we allocate knowledge to rediscover the technologies of the Star Union and search for new frontiers. All right, so military and society can be researched in parallel. Knowledge is applied to both types of research equally at the end of the turn. Military research concerns unit unlocks, unit mods, and military operations. Okay. It's divided into three categories, racial, weapons, and secret technology. All right, so they want us to do nanite support. It's got that diamond. Costs 100 research. Looks like I'm making 25 per turn. And then if I want to go to society... society research concerns economic development, governmental policies, and espionage. Um, it's divided into three categories. Doctrine does government. Economy does uh, deployment of the colonies and operations increases effectiveness and covert ops. So they recommend frontier facilities again, which... Okay, so they want us to do both. I'm going to select frontier facilities. And then I'm going to go over here and select nanite support. So I'd yet, they, you have both types of research being done. You see the two circles in the upper left corner indicate each type military and society so now we're done so now we're researching and we want to confirm movement for our uh, troops let's go here i guess and it looks like there's some bad guys here some i don't know marauder guards or something so i guess we fight them i'm going to confirm the movement uh or maybe i didn't do that yeah go there there's no survivors here. It looks like the structure was overrun by critters. We must reclaim this biodome and annex its sector to our colony. This will expand our domain and increase our supplies. Okay. We don't have enough colonists to control additional sectors yet, Commander. We'll need additional food to allow the colony to grow. Larger colonies can sustain more province sectors. I want to establish our foothold here as quickly as possible. Don't bother me with trivialities like food and colonists. We can recover extra food from the overgrown biodome after we clear out the wildlife. It's bug barbecue tonight. All right, so we're going to fight this. It's a very low-risk battle, and I can do manual combat. Doesn't look like I can do quick combat yet. Maybe they'll show me that later, so let's just go in. They want to show us combat. Oh my god, there's the bugs. The battle has started, Commander. It has. The defending army always gets to act first, followed by the attackers. That doesn't seem fair. All right, here they come. During a combat turn, each unit has three action points to spend on using their abilities, which can cost between one and three action points. Regardless of cost, using an ability always ends the unit's turn. Okay. So even if I only use one, I end the turn, so there's no waiting or anything. The tactical movement colors on the ground indicate how many action points the unit will have after moving there. The red overlay on the ground means the unit will be left with no points after movement. All right. Each unit has active abilities that they can use during combat. Next to attacks, they have a guard ability, which increases the unit's defenses until the start of their next turn. Guard abilities always cost one action point. Okay, the maximum range of the unit's currently selectability will be displayed using a white line. You can select enemy units.
to see their abilities and how they can use them. To allow your units to target obstacles or the ground, the free targeting option can be toggled on and off using the R3 button. Okay. Try moving your units forward to form a gun line, Commander. There are several nearby obstacles that your Vanguard troopers can take cover behind, symbolized by shield icon when hovering over the hex in cover. Okay, so there's a cover system. Try putting your troopers in cover and enable Overwatch. Interesting, the red eye symbol. The assault bike has great mobility and is best moved into a flanking position to engage in combat next turn. So it kind of now, you know, it's like civilization on the overworld and with the technology and everything. But then it goes into a hex-based battle system with cover, like XCOM, but it also reminds me of a little bit, you know, Master of Magic, where you do these tactical battles instead of just, um, like sometimes Civ will just, you know, simplify the battle for you and it just bam, 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 they fight. So let's move this unit into position for a flank next turn so i can't if i move like way over here i will lose i won't have any action points left so i can't go into overwatch or anything like that but if i move um over here i can have some cover and flank so i'm going to drive over here you're right it has the units by making it harder for enemies to hit them with abilities. You're darn right. Cover is directional and only protects against attacks if it is between the targeted unit and the enemy. Okay. Some units are too large to use cover, but they can be used as cover by other units. Throughout the combat map, there are also large obstacles that block line of sight, allowing units hiding behind them to avoid being targeted altogether. Okay. So in this Let's see, what op option do I want to do? Uh, I can defense mode, wide, a laser, focused laser, rotate, move. Commanders and heroes oh. are some of the strongest units in any army, capable of wielding a variety of powerful weapons and even piloting vehicles. They level up as they gain experience, allowing them to unlock new abilities and buffs. Alright, that's cool. It's kind of like Warcraft. Uh, if a commander is defeated, they'll return to their faction's headquarters, or like, you know, Heroes of Might and Magic. Alright, so let's move you into partial cover, I guess? The bike couldn't go on Overwatch, but you can. And... Um, just end the turn. Defense mode, I guess. Do you have to Overwatch, like, target a specific enemy? I'll move over here with this group. Some units with range oh, okay. You have to select it again. Overwatch. While in Overwatch mode, the unit will have a red eye icon above its head. This unit will fire its primary ranged attack at any enemy unit that moves or uses an ability on a hex within this unit's field of view. Okay. Overwatch can only trigger once per turn, and if it's using an Overwatch is staggered, it's canceled. Okay. All right, so we'll just keep moving enemies up. There's a little bit of cover here, not very much, so maybe we want to move, you know... Right here to get some some small bit of cover. And I'll select Overwatch. Alright, I'm gonna put you on an island. If you don't make it, it's your fault. Oh, do you and you I moved you so far that you don't even have movement points to go on Overwatch. I almost feel bad about what I've done. I'll move you here, and then go on Overwatch. Overwatch. End turn. Let's see, here they come. Oh, so we're just already Overwatching them, I guess. Alright, that's good. We're doing good damage. A unit has been staggered, Ow. causing it to lose an action point. Most melee attacks and explosives will stagger units. Ow. If a unit is in overwatch or guard mode, they're canceled when the unit is staggered. 
Okay, so that was my fault. I didn't... I should have anticipated that the bugs would be able to move further than that. I kind of thought they wouldn't be able to move and attack. Oh, boy, we're getting wrecked. I'm making so many mistakes. Okay, so can you... Looks like the bad guys are right here. Oh, no, this is the trooper. If we shoot because they're flanked, they should die, right? A unit attacked from the sides or back is considered flanked. Uh -huh. It takes increased damage. Units in guard mode cannot be flanked. All right. Units can be turned to face any direction, but units that have used an ability can no longer be turned. Ouch. All right, that's something we have to consider. Enemy neutralized. Neutralized indeed. All right, can you just shoot this thing? Like, what are the chances of you shooting this guy? 60%? Yeah, do it. That's great. That's a lot of damage. You did an amazing job. All right, dude, can you hit him? 85% with the laser rifle. Flame him up. Bam. Enemy down. They never stood a chance. They didn't stand a chance. That was embarrassing. For for everyone involved, us and them. All right, so we we defeated them. Done. Watch the replay. Commander, our colony has now grown big enough to support an additional sector, I recommend annexing this sector, which contains the biodome, as this will add food income to our economy. Good. We'll annex this sector to our colony as a province sector so we can start exploiting the land for resources as soon as possible. So how do I do that? Uh, we got 45 food as a reward, I guess. Completed. And we also got a bunch of research and stuff. And you can annex a sector by selecting Annex Sector. Well, that's great. Expand the colony. Okay. So we're on it right now, and I, I'm just going to select it. And it says uh, this gives 10 food for the colony, gives pl plus plus 5 food when in an agricultural exploration. Okay. And let's see. Uh, radio menu? Uh, diplomacy, Objectives, Imperial Archives, Skip Turn, Unit Templar, Operations, Research. Uh, they'll tell me how to do this. Orders required. All right. So can you annex the sector? No. Um, looks like they kind of want us to go, like, right here for some reason. Planets are divided oh. into geographical sectors that Never contain mind. natural resources or valuable remnants of the Star Union. Sectors can be settled with colonizers or annexed as provinces to existing colonies by interacting with the central sector map marker. Okay. Um, actions available to take within the sector are listed below the bottom panel. So basically, this is the sector. I thought I was standing on the sector square, so I was selecting it like it was the colony, but it's not the colony. And so now we can, it just takes one turn to annex this. Sectors usually have both a climb and a terrain feature that determine their economic potential. Okay, so this has got fertile plains and it's fungal. To make your colonies thrive, sectors need to be annexed to colony centers. This turns them into province sectors that add income to their parent colony once they are further developed. Fantastic. Through experience, you'll learn how to optimize sector choices and colony upgrades. For now, pick any habitable sector adjacent to your starting colony and annex it. Okay. So we'll take this one, and we're just gonna do it. Super scan completed. I'm picking up a Vanguard military signal nearby. This could signify the presence of survivors on the planet. Bring it up on scanners. Let's find out what the heck's going on here. Alright, so we need to go explore over here. You got it. You know we will. Okay. So we're going to take a turn to annex that. And who do we need to give orders to? You? All right. We're going to just try to move you over here then. So you can't even select it to move because it hasn't been explored yet. So I'll move over here, uncover the fog of war, and zoom in. Interesting. All right. And now we'll end the turn. You have just annexed the sector, and it can now be exploited for one of the main resources. Exploit it. Ideally, the chosen exploitation type matches the terrain and climb features of the sector for future leveling potential. Okay. 
Exploitations are built via the Colony Interface Center in the Sector Production tab. The higher the level of the exploitation, the more income it provides. After the sector has been exploited, the specialization can be built in it for more benefits. Okay, conduct research to unlock sector specializations. Sure, we can do it. Commander, that sector has been successfully annexed to our colony, and it's now considered a province sector. By who? The five people that are here, it can now be exploited. Let's get this exploitation up and running as soon as possible. What does terrain analysis tell us? How can we best exploit the next or the new province sector? So she's analyzing it, and it's fungal, and it's got fertile plains, and it's got a resource node of a biodome. So she's like turned it into agricultural exploitation. And agricultural exploitation will synergize with both the climb and terrain, allowing the sector to reach its full potential through research and construction. The biodome will also synergize with an agriculture exploitation, providing an additional bonus to food income. That's great. All right, so if we do this, it's going to take one turn. And it's what they're telling us to do, so might as well. Oh, wait. Here, choose this one. Here we go. We got it. All right, close it up. Objective complete. You're darn right it's complete. We got a bunch of energy. Give me the energy. All right. Um, nanite support. Oh, did we finish the research? Quantum-powered molecular machines are not magic. They're science. But the uncertainty principle dictates that if I explain to you exactly how it works, it'll stop working that way. So just trust me. It's not magic. It's just probabilistic, quantum state-driven subatomic machines. Stanley Strangelove, publicist, small tech enterprises. Thanks, Stanley. Strangelove, hilarious good stanley kubrick reference all right so now we can research something new heavy lasers are you recommending anything for me not at the moment subjugation ordinance and phase manipulation yeah give me the heavy lasers then fine and then what about over here uh aquatic frontier policies area surveillance yeah get the surveillance we don't know what's going on all right confirm movement Dude, move over here. Can you do it? Not explored. Get real. Explore it. Lieutenant Zhang? What the heck are you doing on this rock? Last I heard, you were stationed on leave six. Um, by the way, I don't know how to pronounce her name at all. Hopefully they say it in the dialogue somehow so I can hear it. Commander Jack, I require your immediate assistance. Our settlement's overrun with hopperhounds, and we need help fighting them off. We're sending you blueprints for some weapon modifications. Let's burn these bugs down. Receive, Lieutenant. We'll make quick work of these bugs. Commander, before engaging in battle, we should mod our units to make them more combat effective. Select our army and inspect units in the army panel below to see and equip mods. We could equip the mods the Lieutenant gave us on troops or your weapons commander. Please bear in mind that while the process is immediate on your weapons, modifying our troops leaves them vulnerable for a single cycle. Ah. Objective completed. All right, get the reward, and we need to defeat these. We'll just wait for a cycle. I guess I select them here, and then I say... Um, no, not exploring. Here, wait. How do I... Radial menu. Objectives, Imperial Archives, Unit Template Manager. Operations? How do I do this? Operations form a flexible toolkit that allows commanders to support military actions and steer government policies. Okay, I don't think this Lots is the right strategic place. strategic and doctrine operations need to be primed before use. Prime them. The priming process takes a number of turns pending the ops cost and your available strategic operation points. Okay, um... Close up. Yeah, that was the wrong thing to do. Uh, try unit the template. Unit's template manager interface Here you go. Mod templates for units under your control. Templates can be removed and new templates can be created. You can toggle the visibility of the templates in the colony production screen using the checkbox. Okay. 
So I just want to go to this guy right here, the Vanguard Trooper, and just this say, is the unit panel okay. Where all the information on a unit can be viewed, including their active and passive abilities in the list on the left side. Okay. Once researched, unit mods can be assigned to a unit using the mod slots. Units can have different roles in combat. Core units are a race's scouts and baseline infantry. Skirmisher units are focused on dealing damage. Specialist units have non-damaging support abilities, and elite units are higher tier units that have strong damage. A colony can only produce skirmisher, specialist, and elite units if it has built special unit unlock structures. Okay. So, this is a trooper, which is a vanguard unit, and... I guess we're going to give them this first mod. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Unit mods include a variety of offensive and defensive modifications, while others provide entirely new abilities. They can be unlocked through research or bought from NPC factions. All right. So do we want the... Um, I think we want these flechettes to inflict bleeding to defeat the bugs. So let's just put those on there. Could you have a second mod? Could you get these babies to heal? Yeah, just might as well. And I'm going to... It's going to cost 35 energy, 170 production, and 10 uh, of the nanites or whatever, or whatever that blue death energy is. I'll save the template. Once mods have been assigned to a unit, a new template needs to be made for the modified unit. Okay. Uh, we're just going to call it barbed, like, is there, sure. And then I'm going to just go back out. And we need to pass the turn, I think, to get these to go. Objective completed. All right, so we annexed it. We exploited the sector. We got energy. And let's see. Did we finish... Are our units done? Let me see them. Yep. So the barbed troopers should be good to go. Well, I ha it says I have zero. Can I make... How do I make them? Did I not do that the right way? I thought I equipped them correctly, but maybe I didn't. Oh, God. I think I botched it. You, uh, they produced agricultural exploration. Okay, great. Production ready. Uh, oh, do you want to make these? Is that what you're asking me to do? Just make troops that can do this? I don't know. I will. I thought I was, like, equipping them on the current troops that I had. I, I think I misunderstood. Stack guarding. No, I don't want to do that. Um, exploring. Uh, that's fine, but um, try this and then see. Vanguard Trooper. Can I... I can't really do much. So I don't know if they want me to wait until I get these new troopers or what the deal is. Hmm. I'm going to end the turn. I mean, I don't know. Oh, he's just... Exp I think I put him on auto-explore, this unit. Um, here, stop doing that. Yeah, I've, I've put him on auto explore. Can I tell you to not do that? Yeah, there we go. I stopped it. Okay. And then orders required for you. Can you move, you know, down here? And we'll wait for the backup units. And then did you finish down here? Out of movement points. All right, end the turn. And let's see. All right, these guys are ready. I'm going to select Production them. Ready. And, uh, no, no, no. I just want you to go here. Can I select you? Yeah. I need you to go, like, join this group. 
And then you can meet them over here, I guess. This is fine. Uh, we're just going to kind of end the turn. Or fine. Go here. Try. Production? I don't know. Um, do you have any recommendations for me? Military infrastructure. Yeah, build that. And then end turn. All right, the bugs are doing their thing. And there's something ready to prime. People are happy. And the heavy laser applications. Lasers are fast, accurate, and leave no bloody mess. Just the delicious smell of fried bacon. Dear goodness. Mark McNash, CEO, Lays Tech. Thanks for telling us that. Okay, so we finished that. Uh, phase manipulation sounds great. And we're still working on... Oh, no, we don't have anything researching there. Here, get back. Operations available for priming. Uh, deploy a monitor. Do I want to do that? Nah, I don't really want to prime anything. Uh, here. Actually, go over to... Set production over here. That's fine. What else do you can you make us? Uh, dismantle? No, no. We don't need to dismantle anything here. Yeah, go to production. Get the uh, specialist training center. Sure. Whatever. And then... Area surveillance. If you want to improve your capabilities, you don't just set a goal. You must also monitor it. Only by carefully watching your progression, guarding against backsliding, can you achieve solid success. Tony Rubio Strong, Manpower and Machine Motivational Consulting. He sounds like a motivational person. All right. Go with uh, Frontier Policies. That's fine. And then what I want is... How do I pick up this unit? Can you, like, only six units allowed per army? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this unit right here, and I'm going to move them out and be like, uh, how do I move them out? Uh, split or... I don't want you to be in the army anymore because I want to get this new unit that I made. All right, that took that got him out. And then uh, this group, Barbed Trooper, this is the one I want. I want you to move. I'm going to have you go here. Okay, but can I tell you to say, all right, um, continue on your path? Wait one turn. No. Uh, split? Armies merged. Okay, great. That's how you do it. Okay, I got it. And then now this guy, I want you to kind of go over here with the new unit. End the turn. Uh, who's got movement left? Oh, he does. Yeah, you just go back to base and, like, guard. Hey, you know what? Why don't you go on Auto Explore? See what you can find, and then go here. When collected, the people in the shelter will join you or your nearest colonist. Okay. All right, we finished phase manipulation. There is no obstacle I cannot pass. All right, so we're going to select, um, Engineering Corps. That's fine. And give these guys orders. Yeah, go fight this right here. When engaging an army in combat, all armies adjacent to the defending army that are allied to either the defending army or the attacking army are drawn into combat as well. Cool. All right, let's go. It's very low risk. We've got the lieutenant here as well. All right, so let's go. Well, we're going to move into cover. Like this. And we'll just overwatch it. And bicycle guy. 
why don't you go all the way over here and just kind of defend and then barb trooper can you go here And then do Overwatch there. I need you here. Overwatch like that. You can go here. And Overwatch like this. And then you could go potentially over here. And then Overwatch whatever you see oh I got a we got a lot of units okay so this is an engineer I really don't know much about engineers place a gun turret sure I don't know put it there whoops I accidentally I didn't realize I would have to give the gun turret a command. Uh, I was going to... I just pushed down to end the engineer's turn, so I kind of wasted it. I don't know if it's going to shoot anything, but anyway. Hopefully this is like such an easy battle that it doesn't matter. Uh, the bugs are so far away, I need to move her up. We got one action left. Perfect for Overwatch. Get over here. Get into Overwatch. And you. Get over here into Overwatch. Do it. Alright. And end that turn. Let's see what happens. How bad is this going to go? Well, we hit them a little bit. Oh my god. That was a big attack. Oof. 17 damage. Oh, Commander. Oh, the bugs are jumping on us. Oh, boy. And that, and we basically used all of our, you know, Overwatch. Oh, we've been poisoned. Oh, we tried. Oh, that's After rough. the first round of combat, tactical operations can be launched by both sides. Tactical operations can be accessed using the operations interface button in the bottom right of the screen. Okay. Operations available. All right. Uh, operations are available. Like what? Uh, let's see. We can defense. No, no. Go up to the. Wait, I don't understand. Um, here, just shoot. Well, yeah, shoot your laser rifle, but can we, uh... Laser rifle, laser rifle. Oh, this is like targeting different enemies. Okay. And... Laser rifle on that guy. Laser rifle the guy that's right in front of you. How about that? Units with melee attacks will enter melee overwatch at the end of their turn, denoted by a red sword icon above their heads. Hmm. Wow, so we're going to get melee overwatched because we used a ranged attack. Ouch. Okay, fair enough. Who can you hit? We're going to trigger the overwatch from the guy that's adjacent, but I think we can kill this thing, or we should have been able to kill it. Ow. Oh, man, it's got like one hit point. Okay. Okay. Vanguard, can you drive over this thing? Out uh, here. Kill this. Somebody kill it. There it goes. All right, you hit my bike. Which is annoying, but we'll take it. And then hit this guy. They don't have Overwatch anymore because we already hit him, so. Good shot. Okay. Now, shoot. Oh, 
Oh boy. And shoot the guy that's like right up on us. Hopefully we can kill it. Don't graze it. We need better than a graze. Enemy down. Got it. All right. So can this thing hit anything? No. No line of sight. That's that. Now, I think you can, like, use R3 or whatever to target whatever you want. I'll just go on Overwatch. That's fine. And then the engineer... Um, the engineer's kind of stuck in there. I'm just going to uh, defend with them, switch to somebody else, I guess. You can actually wait, so maybe I should have done that. Uh, rotate. Oh, well. No, that's not waiting. Where can you move? If I move you here, you won't have anything left. But we need to get into the battle, so I'm going to go way up. Who can you hit? Nobody? You have no line of sight at all? What about from up here? Can you shoot anything? Sniper. Oh, it takes, it takes three action shots to use the sniper, so you can't move and use it. Okay. So even with this attack, um, looks like I, I'm just too far away. I got to move in. Can't even overwatch. Miserable, miserable play. I should have moved this side more aggressively. They just don't have very good options to get into the fight. They're going to focus fire on this unit. They're going to kill my barbed unit. God, they were so beautiful once. We made them specially for this fight, and now they're dead. It's it's tragic. We'll just join up with the other unit. Jack Gilder is moving. Okay, it's his turn. Where are you, Jack? Who do you want to hit? This guy? Do it. Alright, one down. Enemy killed. Get him. Almost. We got a bunch of grazed shot, which is like the most embarrassing thing ever. Enemy elim Our forces are victorious. We were victorious. But we lost some good troopers this day. Done. Thank you. You got us out of a tight spot there. Don't mention it, Lieutenant. Status reporting. What happened? A force of Outlanders made planet fall a few cycles ago and assaulted our positions. Their assault was centered on the Voidtech facility nearby. We fought them off, but we suffered heavy, heavy casualties. Any survivors? Not on their side, but our colony was burned to the ground during the assault. You're looking at all that remains of my detachment and the colony. What a mess. I'm sorry about your casualties, Lieutenant. What about this Voidtech facility? Why were they after it? I don't know, Commander. All the scientists who knew of the facility perished in the assault. With our colony destroyed, we were unable to annex the landmark to investigate it further. All right, let's get things back on track. I'll take command here. Pack up your settlement so we can redeploy it uh, a proper and set up a proper colony. Lieutenant, lead the way to the Void Tech facility. Acknowledged, Commander. Objective completed. Hopper Hound troubles complete. Now that you have a new colonizer unit, you can found a second colony. A new colony will expand your domain on this planet and increase your income and economic growth. Great. So we need to found a new one and we'll get a whole bunch of food. And we need to explore this sector as our next job. All right, fantastic. Well, I think that was a really good first look at this game. We got to see two combats. We've uh, created an annex. We're going to colonize a new place. And it's... A very interesting, like, it's Starship Troopers meets Civilization meets Master of Magic, kind of. 
And I'd love to know what you all think about this game. Do you want to see more of this game? Have you played it? Do you recommend it? What are your thoughts on Age of Wonders Planetfall? Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care.